Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And guess what? What? Guess what? Adults play with toys. No, you don't say as I look around at all the toys surrounding me. Yeah. No, so, never. So we have uh, quite quite the collection at the multiple clownfish uh, recording locations. Yes. You uh, mean multiple locations is for the collection. Yeah, we do. But um, yeah, so now now the mainstream media is catching on. And I, I, I They're just now catching on? I think there's something else going on here. They're salty? Yeah, pers well, no, I think this is about Hasbro's stock because Hasbro's oh. stock dropped off a cliff last quarter and they were... <gasps> my mom, okay, this, this story was so big, my mom was telling me about it. She knew about the Magic the Gathering? She knew about, yes, she knew about this because she said, did you hear about the one card? Now, she thought it was a, like a D&D &D card, but it was Magic yeah. card, which is funny because my brother, he burned all his cards once and my dad brought it up and I'm like, yeah, those are worth a lot of money. Yeah, the uh, the original, the old old series Magic card. My mom even knew about the, the this card. She told me all about their day. I'm like, yeah. So I think there's something going on here. Hasbro stock uh, took a nosedive last quarter. Oh, again? Um, <laughs> like, what, what, which time? You know, and and uh, now they're saying, hey, uh, imagine that adults with money actually spend money on on toys, and maybe uh, these toy companies should spend more effort on manufacturing toys for adult collectors. But they already are. There's they a bunch already of companies, are. the Super 7, different ones, that's what they're doing and they're making bags. Mondo, Mondo. Mondo, oh my gosh, Mondo stuff's um, beautiful. Yeah, so we're I love the Mondo stuff. So, so they're, expensive. they're so late to this part, but I do think this is um, being seeded in the media by potentially people at Hasbro or Mattel who are looking for a boost. Because again, this is nothing new. I mean, Mattel's been doing Maddie Collector for years. Right, well, I, I have some words from Mattel about their Monster Highs. You might want to offer more than you put out in, on your thing. Every time I have a special edition, like G1 Monster High doll, it's like a cluster of epic proportions just to get one. So they might want to rethink how they're doing that as an adult collector. Older collectors cannot get the toys. Yeah. And those are not those are not going to kids mostly. And then um Hasbro does the pulse. Yes. And they've done some really big things like the sail barge and the his tank. Uh the Transformers ones do really, really well. well I wanted you to get the Transformers I, ones. I, I was you gonna didn't. get Death Saurus, but I I was gonna buy it for you and you said not to. It was like two hundred dollars or something to Says the person who told me to buy the big She-Ra from Mondo, uh, which I absolutely yeah. adore. So, if she only had brushable hair, she'd be better though. She would have been. I don't understand why for that much money you couldn't have a, a different head with, with brushable, brushable hair. hair? I no. Anyway. Or you can sell it separately and I'll just buy that too. There you go. So let's let's talk about this. Uh and so weird because you go out to Twitter and we've got people out there being like, uh, this is what's wrong with Western society. All these adults buying this this. But toys it's been and like this though. It's been like this. I mean, it used to be a badge of honor if you were a nerd and you had a bunch of nerd crap. Like it was a badge of honor. Now it's like it's bad because they're toys. No, like it's no, still, they're adult collectibles. It's still a badge of honor. Just these people are pissy about it. There's now because they're just they're like the same type of age probably, and they're just now getting pissy about it. But it's been like for years and years and years, at least since we got married. Uh, before that, we adults were, were collecting. I was collecting. You know, Star Wars, the new figures and all that, and I was like 20. We actually put a down payment on our first house by selling off our collections. You had My Little Pony, I had Transformers. You had the giant fr three foot high frilly frocks. You had the frilly frocks. Um, I you had, had old toys too. God, yeah, we had so many toys. And yeah, so we actually you know, put a down payment. Being responsible adults, we put a down payment on our first house uh, with with toys because so we've know, now spent years trying to get back. Now we're trying to claw back the claw, but now it's easier. It's actually in some ways it's easier because they have so many replicas and so many right. But it, draw, and, it drives down the prices of the originals. It does. But this whole idea that it's a new concept is is surprising to me because it's been going on for years, and I don't know why they're so pissy about it. So what if another adult wants to buy toys? Who the hell cares? Does it hurt you in any way? Yeah, let's let's talk. Where did the this. bad toy touch you? Or the bad toy touch. That's like we, I always ask people when they start complaining about us irrationally, like clownfish. I'm like, Where the, show me, show me on the clownfish plushie where you were touched. Were you touched in the no no spot? Because that's the only thing that makes sense. I don't understand. You're saying we said things we didn't even say. Anyway, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we actually do uh, some toy reviews occasionally on um, the website, clownfishtv.com. Yeah, I want to do some more on um, the other clownfish channel. We might do some on this clownfish channel. It's short, too. Possibly, yeah. Um, you know, we, uh, we've we done it before, and people are like, oh, that's cool, but why are you doing it? I'm like, because we, we like stuff. We like toys. We cover things we, yeah. that we care about, and like especially, like, I have a whole 
Shiva collection, and I shared it before. We went to PowerCon this year for the first time because it was accessible, easily accessible for us. We could drive there, mm -hmm. and we had a great time, and I think we'll go back next year, and PowerCon was mostly adult. I mean, there were kids there, but it was mostly adult well, collectors. I was thinking, um, if you've ever been to Steel City uh, Comic Con, they actually, they do, it's now three times a year. It was a toy show. Mm -hmm. I mean, now it's mostly, what do you call it, the celebrity petting zoo? Yeah, it's a celebrity petting because zoo. Because now they've got so many celebrities shoved in there, you know, good luck getting, even getting the doors. But it used for years, it was just known as a, toy, as a toy show. And then it became a comic show, too. And now it's a petting zoo. But, you know. Let's talk about this. This is uh, CNBC. Adults are buying toys for themselves. Shocker. You don't say. It's the biggest source of growth for the industry. So what gets yeah, me about. they got money and kids don't. Yeah, exactly. This is why you see $200 collectible He-Man figures mm -hmm. from Mondo because adults can but show those it out. But people usually buy it for themselves and they buy the ones on the shelf at the, toy, at the store that are like the new CG show for their kids. That is true. Masters of the Universe and, and a lot of the smarter toy companies, Hasbro's been doing this where they have the collector line and then they have the the, the kids line. They do it with – they've been doing it with Transformers for a number of years now where they have like the G1 line or the reissues and then um, you know the G1 inspired line and the higher you know price point. But then they have the more simplified Transformers like Cyberverse right. or whatever. Uh He-Man, you could argue, like you said, the Netflix show or even the Origins versus the Masterverse figures. Right. You know, adults are going to pay well, more. Well, yeah, you know? we saw the, the 2002 show. Like, one of the reasons it, it killed it was because they, they flooded it with toys, but the toys were made, made more for adults and not kids, I don't think. Yeah, I think there was, there's, God, there's so many issues with the toy. The show was amazing, and I think if they had handled the toys better, it would have been a slam dunk. But yeah, there were too many. You this close to getting She Ra then. Yeah, right. Proper She Ra. Uh, but there were too many He-Man Skeletor variants because yes. they were like, oh, yeah. But the toys weren't exactly what I call kid-friendly. No, they weren't. They they were basically the 2002 He-Man toys were what we would consider an adult collectible line now. Well, I think you could um, argue, though, too, the original like G.I. Joe action figures had the bands in them, and they weren't exactly kid-friendly all the time either. But that's another story. No, but anyway. if they broke, you'd buy more, and it was more money for Hasbro. And they were a lot cheaper, so you could. So anyway, they're, they're having a hissy about it, and they're like, do you know, what do they say, a quarter of the market? One-fourth of all toy sales. The story to me here is it's that low. I would have expected the number to be much higher than a quarter as, as adults. I, I think it actually is, but the, yeah, they're talking about kid adults having kid adults, kid adults having a great fondness for cartoons, Star Wars, and Lego. And recent years, toy makers such as Mattel have created lines just for these consumers. These kids at heart are responsible for a quarter of all toy sales. I would argue that it was higher than that. I think. I mean, you look at again, you look at Hasbro, Mattel specifically, and you look at the toys, even at Walmart or Target. And I would say a good chunk of them are collector-oriented. I mean, G.I. Joe, collector-oriented. Well, I'm wondering if they're just going by the ones they do that are for adults only or are places that are assigned to adults only. But you don't understand is adults go to the store and buy the ones that aren't for adults only. The ones that you put up for kids, they buy those too. They do. So um, I think the number is higher, in my, if, yeah, if, if I were to guess. Yeah. They said it's an important moment for the toy industry with the holiday season upon us. While sales surged across the board for board games, puzzles, and play sets uh, during the pandemic, the first nine months of 2022 saw a 3% decline in sales volume. Higher toy prices helped outweigh these losses as sales revenue for the time period jumped 3%. Uh, kid alts, kid alts who spend more on toys have a great fondness for cartoons, superheroes, and collectibles that remind them of their childhood. Now, these are not to be confused with the screaming people who are mad about like shows like She-Ra or Steven Universe. They actually didn't support and buy the toys at all, but they, you know, demanded the moon. We're not we're not we're talking about the people who actually buy the merchandise. I I don't see where this is any different than because I, I know it's so weird. Like, I know there are people that cover comic books and they're like, well, comic books and graphic novels are serious art form. But, uh, you know, these people that collect toys are just weird. I'm like, comics were originally created for kids and manga. Was but originally. actually, I thought comics were originally like for women. But that's yeah, what well, yeah. <laughs> Comics is for bitches, yo. It was. Um, but, but yeah, it's the same thing. It's like you're, you're basically, you're collecting something. And I don't see it being any different personally than, uh, you know, I, there are a lot of adults that collect uh, nostalgia products from the 40s and 50s. Um, you know, I, I, I don't see it being any, I mean, I collect, God, I collect arcade machines, you know, mm -hmm. because it reminds me. But I also am like, I'd rather see this kind of stuff go to a collector that's going to appreciate it than have it wind up in a landfill or kids destroy it or something. You well, know? kids destroy How dare those kids destroy that toy? How dare they destroy kids? it? But no, <laughs> the thing is, there there are 
are fewer of them left. That's what I'm saying. Of the like, original stuff, yeah. Yeah, the original stuff. Because they weren't meant to be collectible. And like, no, so like My Little Pony, for example, like the, they, they get the pony cancer because the, the stuff's deteriorating. Oh, no. They do. They get black spots and it spreads to other toys because the other, other ponies because uh, it's deteriorating and it's you know, got some kind of moldy issue. And they weren't meant to be here this many years later. Well, here's the thing, though, too, and this is what we talk about, you know, even with comics and and uh, it does seem like the collector audience skews older just in general. The collectors are the one that bring the majority of the money to the table and the collectors are the ones that these companies have no problem pissing off for a variety yes. of reasons. Like you would think if you knew, you know, a bunch of our revenue comes from making these these you know, we might make fun of them or whatever, but making these people happy and they've got the money. And they go buy the kids version for their kids. Yeah. And that's what they don't understand. They're like, they're making it out like, and not, not this article in particular, but people on Twitter were kind of like, wow, well, you know, man babies. I'm like, no, actually. I, I'm, I'm assaulted. That's misogynistic and sexist. You collect toys. I collect toys. Yes. Weirdly enough, our kids aren't really collectors. Oh, no, much. that's not true. Pinky Boo kind of. No, she totally, she has like. Anime statues, and she has tons and tons of Littlest Pet Shops. Girl loves Littlest Pet Shops. Oh, she has also a bunch of American Girl dolls. She actually is more of a, like a hoarder. <laughs> and, oh, and she's then, a hoarder. And then um, Squid King, He's got Kaiju, Kaiju. He loves and him. books. But it's weird. He wants a library. Kaiju the, and books. The stuff we collected, though, like, books. they were never into. Like, I thought... You know, he was though Star Wars. He was into the the um, for a while. What were those called? The oh, the Galactic the Heroes. Galactic yeah, Heroes. he liked those. He for had a while. like so many Galactic Heroes. He had like all of them pretty much. And then when he outgrew them, he sold them for a crap ton of money. And like I forget how much. Uh, he had like everything. He but had then hundreds we were, of dollars. We were we were enabling that. And then I was even like when he sold the collection, I was kind of like I kind of like some of those. I maybe we should have sold them all. But, but uh, yeah, but he, they were they were for him in quotes. Yeah, but he loved them. He loved that's like the one time he liked Star Wars. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like he's actively out there though. Like, I mean, he'll, he'll see something he likes every once in a while. We'll go to a con, he'll pick up a kaiju right. or something, but he's not Mostly like. Mostly kaiju, yeah. Yeah, I mean, compared to me, where I'm like out there, like constantly looking for, like, oh, they got new Transformers out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it's, it's a problem. I've got a problem too. I can't say anything. I, and I actually stopped, I stopped collecting Transformers for the longest time because I'm like, I know if I buy one, I know if I buy one. It's going to start That's what over. he said. And he's not wrong. No. I like uh, purses, too. I've got a purse problem. That is true. Anyway, they're talking about that. Like, this is new. They're talking about Funko. Like, Funkos are designed for They've adults. been around for how many years? Um, they're talking about the Barbie movie coming out, the D&D movie coming out. Um, we know that this generation does take their jobs seriously, but at the end of the day, they also want to have fun. Like, you know, normal people. Cause you know, just cause you're an adult doesn't mean that you suddenly have no personality and think fun is like, you know, poison. Yeah. Legos are huge with everybody. Legos are. We huge. do a lot of charity work, and um, the one thing that they get that we get asked for every year, without you know pause, is Legos. Legos are like one of the number one things we get asked for. So this is just. I mean, it, it, it's weird that again. I think the timing, because the toy industry has taken a hit. But I, I guess my takeaway from this is, Magic the Gathering fans are pissed off about the you know, the issues going on right now. Right. My and they're like, basically, don't piss off the fans. Right. That That's my takeaway. That should be the takeaway. Well, that's what the big bank's takeaway is, too. Don't piss off the fans. Yeah, don't Isn't piss them off. Isn't that what they're saying? And they will give you money, whether it's comics or, or games or what toys or video games or whatever. Uh, don't piss off your, your core audience. I think you can grow your audience. You can find, you know, try to market out. I mean, I think Mattel's doing it right with He-Man where it's like we've got the classic figures and then we've got this new CGI He-Man we're trying. You don't have to buy those figures because we still have tons of classic toys out there's, there. There's there's more availability than ever before for pretty much everything. I know we were kids. Toy lines would last a lot longer than they seem to do now. But, you know, you could get stuff. But, it, like, now there's, like, so much more. And you know, it, it, there's no shortage of it. So people want to people want to spend their money on it. Let them. So this is young Sheldon. So people are making fun of it here. Well, the kid adults used to slam on is used to slam on grown ups. Yeah, pretty much. You're like talking kid adults. It's like why why can't you have adults who like to collect stuff? I mean, again, how at least it? they're buying stuff and they're putting yeah. their money where their ma where their mouth is. Unlike other adult cartoon stands who want to dictate everything but don't even pay for anything. Yeah, bro, we're just trying to find enjoyment in life, less collect things. Also, kiddle is a goofy-ass word. Uh, if someone called me a kiddle while buying toys for myself, I would kill them with a rock anyway. <laughs> so check out my stick figure collection. Uh, are you a kiddle? Are you a kiddle? 
Oh my God. Yes. Not I a kittle. I spend my disposable income at Sears, Office Max, and CVS Pharmacy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much anymore with the recession. Oh, that's all. That's um, Ollie's. Pretty much with the, with the recession being the way it is, most people like, you know, their disposable income is going to buying things like, you know, food. And yeah. electricity. <laughs> I mean, obviously, obviously, like I said, we sold our collections. We did because that's, that's what we had. We, all, that's the option we had. Squid King was on the way. We need to buy a house. And, and then beyond that, though, back priorities. then, toy values of the originals were the high, as high as they you know, were ever going to be because they started re-releasing stuff. And then it yeah. was driving the value of the old stuff down. So um, now some things uh, you can argue is still pretty valuable. But a lot of it overall kind of declined. Um, man, we had like a... a perfect condition um what was it was it no it was a munchie what was the other one uh mimic oh My yeah Little Pony. My Little Ponies. we had yeah we well you you actually uh dealt with other adults you you dealt in star wars and you put yourself right. through school yes I, through school I, I sold toys in college and stuff but i'm just saying like how many groups i mean even i'm thinking of the last like 30 years the different groups we've been in even when we were still under you know adult age different groups and stuff you could find on the internet and um, even back when it was early on, th there were lots of adults who were into this stuff. Then it's not a new thing. Adults have been collecting toys. I remember at Garage when I was kids, my brother was selling his Star Wars figures, and it was adults who were coming and buying the figures. So I'm like, it's not a new thing, so stop acting like it is. Yeah, <laughs> like this. These adults are buying toys for their children, instigating a massive growth in profit. What is happening in our country? <laughs> um, there are going to be people that are salty. Look, if you're listening to our channel, you are probably a kid alt by their definition yes. because we talk about comics, we talk about cartoons, we talk about toys. We talk about how Hollywood mishandles everything. We talk about video games, all the stuff that's, that, that is non-essential. Let's be honest. The end of the the end of the day, everything that we talk about on this channel is a non-essential. I would argue that because I think what's going on in life is that life is so um, for many it gets bleaker and bleaker. It's like we have pandemic and we have all these things going on and that might have been a lifeline to people because it was something to go play games with people online or to go get toys and be in part of a toy, a toy group when you're stuck at home so you could talk to people so i would argue that having a toys and being a adult might be essential for some individuals because that's like a lifeline for people and when the world is so bleak and you have so much gaslighting out there and so much shit and so much ruining of ip and everything else that toy might be something that keeps you sane you so know, I would argue it's essential. You know that that scene from Ratatouille? Which when, one? When the critic eats the Ratatouille and he remembers simpler times yes. with his mom and, you know, makes him happy. That's kind of what I think it does. Stuff. Like, What's I, wrong if it makes you happy? It makes you happy. It can't be that bad. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, remember, remember the Why 80s? Why the hell are you so sad? <laughs> Remember the 80s when I got my first He-Man? I do. Wasn't it a, a much simpler, better time? I mean, if, if you're holding now? that toy that you spent like five dollars on, fondling that naked man in a loincloth makes you feel $300 better. Three hundred dollars on. I'm not going to judge. Makes you happy and gives you happiness, and you share it with your friends and family, and you share it with your kids, and it brings you joy, and it brings you closer to other people, uh, you know, in, in groups that are you know like-minded individuals that you feel like you have friends and you, you're surrounded by joy. How is it bad? Like, if it, you're not hurting anyone, if you want to spend your bucks on a Baby Yoda, then go buy the damn Baby Yoda. If you want to buy anything that has an Ewok on it, go buy anything that has an Ewok on it, as long as it's not something I want to buy first. There you go. You'd have to you'd have to fight him. Right then we'll have to yub nub battle it out. Yeah, you get pointy sticks and you have to fight Geeky for the to the Ewok. The but Ewok I'm just saying. Stuff, I mean, so. so what? Stop shitting on people. All right, we gotta wrap this up. Yes. Okay. Man. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll Throw talk later. Down. Bye.